Hey folks, and welcome back to Musical Conman Plays The Binding of Isaac. It's been a minute. Well, let's take a look at this save file we got going here. There's things to do on every character. Why don't we try... Mm. Let's get good old Judas a little bit of love. I do like that starting damage that Judas is so good with. So right off the bat, we're offered an opportunity to go into a curse room and probably die. So that's intriguing. Just off the top of my head. Ooh, it's time for a little something that I can often mask now and slay the spire by just tapping out quietly. But in this game, I want to make sure I'm doing my paranoid is this recording check. Okay, if we can get one bomb, we can get mini bomb. This seems like a good room for bonus damage. This thing can hurt us in a small room. Okay, we could get an active item that is less good. Seems not ideal. How do I angle this in here? That's how. I was trying to figure out if that would do the trick or not, but it seems to have done the trick. Trade a bomb for a bomb in one cent. This is what we call profit. I could use two bombs to get into that barricaded room up there, but if it's a bedroom, I would need a third bomb to get the benefit out of it. Another active item, which we probably won't be keeping, but hey, a familiar. Oops. Well, I mean, I'll take the soul heart. I will use this maybe on the boss, but I'm going to keep Book of Belial going forward. Because this is just damage, but Book of Belial also increases our de devil chance. And I think we'll be fine with either. But if you're not familiar with Crack the Sky, this would be a good chance to see it in action. Alright, I should really finish what I start. But I don't like doing it. Alright, here we are. Crack the sky. Good item. And hey, that's a pretty nice tears up. Go back, grab our book of Belial. Oh, we got a reward here. Hierophant. With that in mind, do I want to spend a soul heart to... Get... Into and out of the cursed room? Or do I want to probably find a secret room? Yeah. I'd rather spend two bombs than a soul heart. No need to bomb into that shop, even though we could. Ooh, steam sale. Okay. We'll use this up. We could use a key to get into the shop, and we could buy any item that we like there. Let's do this. Okay. It's going to be a little tricky to... Alright, well that didn't work. Or did it? Okay, so we lost a soul heart to get in there. And this might take a while. We're gonna do it. Awesome. Could have done that a little better. But we did it the way we did it. It's useless to us. But we did it. Let's pick up the battery, why not? Yep, just a couple of active items we don't need. We can go into the shop and buy something we see. I think that's worth looking at. Compass good. It does mean we might not get an arcade. We lose our chance to get an arcade on the next floor, but also, we only have one red heart, so what were we really planning to do with an arcade on the next floor? So let's us see an item. If we don't like it, we don't have to take it, but we did like it, so we did take it. Plus, our shops are very small right now, so there's actually not a lot of items to choose from since we haven't upgraded the shop yet. And that means you have to see more shops to actually see things you like. Uh, another pretty weak familiar, but hey, it's damage. This would be a great room for a tower card if I hypothetically still had it. Instead of using it for damage to myself and no other benefit. But it could have been some other benefit. 
that was my dream. Alright. I'm feeling pretty good about our damage so far. We've gotten that tears upgrade, and these two babies aren't going to be incredible late game, but they're really nice against little enemies early on. Like these things. Just a little bit of random damage, basically. If I were playing Slay the Spire, I might say that these are like Mercury Hourglass. It's really going to save the run, but, you know, you're never, you're rarely sad to have it. In Spire, you're never sad to have Mercury Hourglass, but in Isaac, these things can actually, you know, if you had Dr. Fetus, they could push your bombs out of the way. You're very rarely sad to have them. Let's try and kill these flies before they get on us. I think that was a good use of Book of Belial. Didn't seem like we had any good ways to dodge except by just murdering them. We maybe could have dodged, but a little riskier. Uh, I would consider doing a boss challenge room if I had any keys, but I don't. And it looks like I... I do now. Mmm... I'll use Book of Belial here instead of on the boss. That's fine. Steven is a excellent reward. Definitely glad I cracked that chest. We got the damage up upgrade, we got the tears up upgrade, and we got Judas's already great starting stats. You know, it's, we don't have the keys to the kingdom quite yet, but we've at least been shown the door. But like in the good way, like someone helpfully pointing out where a door is, not like the bad way of like when someone's showing you the door because they're kicking you out. I'd really love a bomb. If I went to the shop, if there is a bomb, I can buy it. But if there isn't, there's nothing else I'm really going to want. And I'm going to feel pretty foolish. I would take the... I'm just saying, I would, I would take the book of matches here. A bunch of health is nice. This lets us take multiple devil deals if they don't kill us. And we're glad we took it. I mean, we actually would have lived anyway. Because this gives us health. So we actually would have benefited from not doing what we did. But we got we get to fly, so we get that money. And everybody loves to get that money. With this, we probably want to go to the shop. A bomb would blow up a tinted rock for us. Or we could have an item we like. Can't quite have both, but it's close. Mm, more frequent Book of Belial? Ooh, two of diamonds. I think we'll have more than seven coins later, but I do want this now. And I think we'll be fine without the health. So now we can use Book of Belial every second room. It's not incredible, but there are other active items it might be better with. And, you know, we can just start using this on most regular, most regular rooms. We can use it on this mini-boss. Take out Envy. And so far, we're doing pretty well this run. I keep forgetting... I thought I had Spectral Tears there, just because I could fly. I'm used to flying and being able to shoot through rocks. But actually, we can't shoot through rocks. At least not yet. Hey, not very helpful little troll bomb. This gives this charge at the start of the wave or at the end? I think it's at the end. So let's make it through one regular room without Book of Belial. Big rooms always give it back. But this room will also give it back, so let's just get this over with. Yeah, it's at the end of the wave, so we would have had to beat this thing without the bonus damage. And that sounds so hard. Okay, killing these on their first run up is very nice. And these things will die to a single one of our shots. Nice. Not massive rewards, but decent rewards to have. This room ought to go pretty quickly. Just take, get them all to low health, and then they all just die to one shot and take each other out. Cool. 
Yeah, this is a big enough room, and these are tanky enough enemies to use a book. Another nice thing about using Book of Belial, if you were in a tough room, is it pauses the, it, you know, freeze the screen, pause the game for a second, so it just gives you an extra second to plan your next move. That's not very useful to us yet. But who knows, maybe we'll get a bunch of health and the wafer. Okay, a beneficial pill. Not, you know, not incredible, but not sad to have it. Alright. Just pop the justice card. We unlocked Ancient Recall. What, did we use, like, a sufficient number of cards? I wonder what did that. Well, that was awkward damage that I didn't need to take, but at least we got health back afterwards. <clears throat> no point in going shopping with four money. Four isn't many money. If you kill these things over a gap, they don't spawn spiders. But if you kill them over ground, they do. Because spiders can't exist in the gap. That wasn't really the best time to press that, because I kind of want to use it on the boss now that I think of it. Do one more room, just to be safe. A little bit of walking. Secret room check? Nah. We here? Eh. Well, it's not there. Oh, we've already seen an explosion there, actually. Okay. We got our charge back. It's off to the boss room we go. It's interesting because a lot of a lot of runs in this game feel pretty pretty decently winnable, but it's just the the few that are very tough. But I think about like there are streamers whose mission is to win this game as many times in a row as possible. You know, they go on Eden streaks or lost streaks or whatever. And I think about like they're doing everything they can to optimize the game, take contract from below, make the best choices they can. And I think it's really interesting on the runs where that's really difficult. But what I'm kind of curious about is what is the game like for them on the runs where it's actually pretty easy, where you get the great items, so they just kind of chill and talk to their chat? Should have gotten the charge before I came in here. I don't know, just thinking about it. I'm sure being a Twitch streamer is interesting in many ways. I know the hours tend to be rough. As is the case with most jobs that aren't traditionally paid, and also most jobs that are. We live in a, a not great timeline, <laughs> uh, but that's a topic for another day. Or maybe it's a topic for this day, who knows? It's my channel, I'll talk about what I want. You can't stop me. I mean, Isaac is my time to ramble, because when I play Slay the Spire, I have to actually think. At least at Ascension 20. And even at lower ascensions, if you just don't think, you can die pretty bad. Free tenant draw. But Isaac has a lot of runs where you're just like, okay, I've answered the main questions. Like, how do I get damage? How do I get health? And I know what the enemies do, so it's, you know, pretty well sorted. But, you know, every run is slightly different. So it's still interesting. I guess it's interesting because a lot of people would call Isaac a very hard game because it is a it's a pretty difficult game. There's a lot of things that are very hard about it, but Isaac is also a game that you can get good enough at, at that you could like if you played Isaac perfectly, you could win every single game by just dodging and never ever getting hit, and that's not you know reasonable to expect anyone to do without getting like any items it's kind of tough to beat the to beat mega satan with starting damage as the lost or like delirium not advisable but it could theoretically be done which is interesting compared to like slay the spire or something where you have to play well to win and you have to choose good items and stuff but but it is absolutely impossible to beat the heart with a starting deck of just strikes and defense, you know? Like, 
it doesn't matter how good you are, you can do it. Whereas in Isaac, it would take all day, but you could. We'll take another baby here, get a whole armada. I don't know, and it's, it's interesting, just like, if you play well, you can expect to win almost every run in Isaac. And if you play really well, you can win every run. Whereas, in the other game I've been playing a lot, humans aren't really going to be able to win anywhere close to every run with most characters. With the Watcher, you can win like 90% of them if you're really good and you spend a really long time on every turn. Lower with the other characters. Like, there are really good players who can win like 60% of the time with Silent. Or at least I know one who's who I watched a run of who's been doing that. But also, that person, uh, Life Coach on Twitch. Life Coach 1981, I think? Maybe on YouTube as well, I'm not sure. But I don't think he has slightly spire on YouTube. Anyway, so I watched one of his runs. But it took me a long time to watch it. I watched it in multiple sittings because he spent eight hours doing it. And it's cool to know that someone can do that. But also, like, even if I spent eight hours on a run, I wouldn't be guaranteed to win every run, you know? Whereas Isaac is just like, you know what? If I just get good damage and good health, like, I can just proceed, like, with a lot of confidence. And that's, I don't know. It's just interesting coming back from playing a lot of another game to this game, that I've also played a lot of, and will probably play a lot more of over the course of my life. I mean, we'll continue to play a lot of, I'm not making a judgment over whether I'll play this or Slay the Spire more in the future, I can't predict the future. Probably gonna go into that shop and pop the two of diamonds, so we don't stop getting the money. Ugh, bad luck. I was like, what if there are no enemies? Nah, it'll be fine. There'll be enemies. There weren't enemies, so we actually don't get our charge back. But we have explored the whole floor, which is, and gotten all the money we could get. Reasonably get. Alright. What we're gonna do here... We're just gonna blow this up. Alright. Two of diamonds, and... Check the pill. Yeah, we'll get big. And then we'll just donate as as much as it lets us, which is not very much. We're going to buy this, not because we want it, but because to complete this save file, we'll have to pick it up at some point, and, like, I can't imagine ever wanting to pick that up. We skipped a card there. It, that's fine. Like, it's a fine card, but it's also fine to not have it. Synth oil damage and range up. Very into that. Now we have 10 damage before we even use our book. 10.13. Attackanically. Attackanically. I don't think we even have boss rush unlocked on this save file, so I don't know that we could. You know what? Let's keep that mask. COVID safety. I don't know that we could fight Boss Rush even if we got there in time. I just don't think it's open. So we don't need to worry about getting there by 20 minutes. Similarly, I don't think we've unlocked Hush. So that also doesn't matter. So let's just explore the things we want to explore, such as this curse room. Get the things we want to get, such as two guppy items. Well, that's not any guppy items. I'll take another baby. Not because it helps us, or is good, but because it adds to our collection. I'll skip Black Powder. Hey, we unlocked Krampus. Because... And, yep, I thought Headless Baby might count. So we got the Conjoined Transformation. For having three babies that count, which is Harlequin Baby, Rotten Baby, and Ghost... And... Uh, Headless Baby. Ghost Baby does not count for the Infested Transformation. I could use Telepills for half a health here. And... If we're not using them to skip out a boss rush, what else are they for? Alright. So Conjoined does reduce our damage slightly, but also it triples our shots. So, like, what do you want it to do? I think it's pretty good. Another fairly large room. I'll use our thingy here. We've gotten through it, with the aid of our thingy. Thanks, thingy. 
for your powerful assistance. Alright. Unfortunately, we don't get to donate any money this run. But we sure get greed. I would love to donate lots of money to our greed machine. Hey, we got double steam sale. So if we get to any more shops, everything is completely free. We also have a bunch of bombs, so I'm just going to start dropping them wherever I want. Because why not check for secret rooms at this point? We have a contract from below, so we're going to get a lot of stuff. It's not there, because that adjoins the boss room. Wow, when was the last time I used the adjoins as a verb? Why did that come into my, my head and brain and heart there? You know what? I can tell you why that, why I thought of that fairly uncommon word. Is because we just got the conjoined transformation. And they are... Well, adjoin, conjoin. They're linguistically pretty close. So that's that must have been why I thought of it. Yeah, I'll take a red health next floor. I almost said next act. I've been playing and then slaying. Uh, I suppose I could check for a secret down there. And I know one of my viewers is... Well, hopefully one of my viewers is going to be watching this. At least one would be nice. But one in particular I'm hoping will watch and enjoy this. It happens to be sick and not much to do right now. And Slay the Spire takes too much thinking, my pal says, to watch. Which makes sense, because it's a pretty complicated game. And if you haven't played a ton of it, you might be going, wait, what does that do? That does what? Help? Why? So, I figured I'd play a little bit of Isaac. Just for something a little more relaxed, a little more immediately watchable. I don't know what that room is going to give me that, my, that I want. So I'm not going to find out. Alright, um, I didn't blow that middle fire up the, on my first try, but it blew itself up. Well, that was a good plan. Let's take technology, too. It's going to lower our damage a lot, and it's going to lower our fire rate, which sucks for conjoined. And overall, I think this was a bad decision. But... When I started this sentence, I would, thought I was going to say... It lowers our damage, but it it's overall good. And since I thought I might say that, I took it. But I don't... With the triple shots... And it gives us a lot of range, I'll say that. Speaking of range... I don't want black powder. But I'm making bad decisions now. So I feel like I should stay in character. Um, if I haven't demonstrated on this channel what Black Powder does, it's because it's pretty inconsequential, but it leaves this trail of nasty ashes and stuff, or gunpowder, I guess. I don't know, Black Powder, and if you make a circle... It does that, and that damages enemies. Alright, let's use some keys to get in here. get out of that. Check this curse room. We do need to find some ways to get more HP since we gave up our HP in exchange for garbage. Uh, this seems like a good use of the Belial book. Oof. Oh no, I bumped my keyboard and dropped a bomb. Okay. Well, we definitely need some HP if we're going to spend it like that. I don't want to lose this one. This game is not difficult. Especially with the items we've been getting, this game is not difficult enough to lose here. Let's up our devil chance and hop in here. We got 99 cents. A shop with a restock machine would be pretty nice. There's a trinket that is actively harmful to us, so I'm going to skip it. Well, I don't know. I am making bad decisions. Should I go back for it just to stay on brand? Hmm... No, because I'll die. Hey, we got a restock machine. Alright, we just buy everything. Mm, 
Hive Mind is good. So double Steam Cell is a pretty powerful com combo, as you may be able to notice here, because it means that you can get everything you want. I think the ladder would actually be actively harmful to us, because we can already fly. All that the ladder do does, does, dies, days, all that the ladder does is allow enemies to follow us over gaps. Okay, this is interesting. So we can turn soul hearts into red hearts, and we can turn red hearts into buddies. All right, and we're out of stuff. Let's, let's get the dollar. We have to get it eventually if we want to complete the save file. Plus, if this gives us health, we could use it to play the other thing. I don't know. I'm just chilling, frankly. So there's some red hearts. So, um, how's everybody's day going? I'm hanging out. I've been petting the dog sometimes, which I like to do. You know what? Tomorrow morning... Oh, it made a troll bomb and took away my health, because I wasn't really paying attention. That's very rude. Why would you do something rude, game? Mm, this is Necro too, so this is the mom fight. Let's just use this here. And it'll help us as we continue exploring the floor. Another temperance. Well, if we get a another Hmm. If we get another soul heart, we could play those two temperance machines a bunch of times with all the red health we have laying around, but then we would give up all our soul hearts. So Mama Mega, as you can see, is just gonna blast these rooms as soon as we enter them for the whole floor. And that'll be alright. Sun card is nice. I guess we're fighting this. Let's get our damage. One of these could give us a skip out of here. But soul health. Soul hearts? I mean, it is also health. Soul health, very good. Soul health, very good indeedy. Okay. Some interesting jukes going on. I'm not sure all of them were necessary, but we got through it. Another active item that we don't really care about. That path seemed to work. I don't know if it was the wisest or bestest path, but it was the path that most worked when we used it. Alright, a lot of these rooms are going to be pretty quick with Mama, Ma Mama Mega active. Mama Mia. I'm trying to say the words. Cool. Mini bomb. Run straight through. Hit all those buttons. Hey, it finds the super secret room for us. It gives us... Spider. Wait. Oh, we didn't actually kill the enemies. Because Mama Mega just opened up that door. Well, we have a lot of battery. God forgive me, I'm gonna keep doing it. If it drops... I'll try and pay attention if it drops a troll bomb. It didn't. <laughs> What's interesting to talk about? We got all those spiders on the back of our head, and the flies on top of those, so that's a thing that I've noticed. Observations are kind of like saying things. Oh, hey, a troll bomb. I heard. So I was paying attention, and I heard the noise of a troll bomb being dropped, and I thought. What is that? I haven't seen anything, so it's probably something... And a card or a pillar or whatever, wouldn't it drop to the side of the machine? So I thought, oh, maybe that means it was a troll bomb. And then I s stayed there. And that was a good plan. 
So this isn't the best plan, but we're going to go for it. We're going to hope for one of the item payouts here. Two, three. The sun. Six players and nothing, huh? Blow up one of them. No, you know what? I should have gone back and gotten some of the other health. Did we just get a free play there? That's interesting. Anyway. Let's not die here. That would be very embarrassing. And you know I hate to be very embarrassed. It's practically my motto. Just don't be very embarrassed. Musical Con Man. 2006. It's been my motto for 13 years. 13? Yes, because I came up with it in November. Anyway, let's uh, destroy our mother. So, Technology 2 has lowered our damage, which has made our, and our fire rate, which has made our conjoined tiers much worse. Oh, wait, what? The boss rush is opened by Mama Mega? There's a guppy item. Oh, but now it's closed. Weird. Shovel lets us go down to Satan's house. It also just lets us skip things we don't care about. I'm down for a library down there. Hey, look, health. Uh, we don't have the Polaroid, so red health is not a downside for us. I guess we'll just use this whenever we can, just in case we get a crawl space. So yeah, with Hive Mind, our spiders and flies, which already multiply our damage, do double damage again. So any small increase in our damage is hugely increased by that. So you might say that any, like, 30% decrease in our damage stat is very detrimental. Hypothetically. Or like 40%? We lost a lot to Tech 2. And we gained a laser. Which we now have. Oh, well, these rooms are a lot slower without Mama Mega. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that like when you do a bunch of damage to enemies like instantly, they have less health afterwards? It's weird. I don't know if anyone's ever, like, analyzed the game at the level I'm analyzing it, you know? So it's it's wild coming up with all these, like, amazing discoveries. I like this one. Um, this one will get us out of the curse room. So would the chariot. But then we could use the chariot afterwards if we wanted. If it dumped us back over here. And if it doesn't dump us back over here, we will not go back for it. Because our time is valuable. My time and yours. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Probably because even though I slept 12 hours last night, I slept for zero hours the night before. Because of reasons. It wasn't fun. Okay, so I could go back to the chariot card without fighting any extra rooms. And you, and can you guess whether I'm going to do that? I am going to fight the boss. Because it does give us an item, and I like those. But I could totally just skip this floor. And if I get another room full of annoying enemies like this, it's quite likely that I will. Also though, we have bombs. So we can just skip rooms. But we can get these nice rewards that are cool. Sun card isn't that incredible. But it damages all the stuff in the room. It also reveals the map. But like... We've already got most of the map revealed. Because we have the treasure map and the compass. So this would reveal the regular secret room. But not the super secret room. It would clear our Curse of Darkness, and it would deal damage to things in a room. And it would heal our Red Hearts if we had those. I mean, it's a very strong card if you have the things that it does good. 
available to you as options that you like. Yeah, I got through that sentence successfully. But we don't. Okay, so I've given up my ability to take a devil deal that doesn't give health, which is a bit of a shame. Another syringe. Not much. Not much there. We do want to beat mom, because I think the save file is still checking off mom, or mom heart kills. Otherwise I could just use the shovel immediately. Whoops, I took a hit. Also, we could, well no, we can't get a regular devil deal if we don't get the door down to bad place spawned. Yeah, why not? Okay, I'm watching for a troll bomb. Watching for a, watching for a, watching. Let's go out the door so I can get lined up so I can just hold down again. You know, I don't have much else better to do with these keys. Four, five, six. Wow, a lot of red chests. One. You know what, let's just give them all my keys. I'll save two. Okay. I protected the key beggar. And also myself. We can get big. It doesn't help us, but it's a thing we can do that we've done now. Alright, give me like 50 more keys, and I'll keep playing that thing forever. Because why not? And that's why we kept two keys, because if a room spawned with two golden chests, we want to open them. So they can probably give us more keys. Or, like, things we don't care about. Let's take 404. Random things. Random things will happen. I'm okay with that. And there's more keys. I am exploring the rest of this floor basically for no other reason than to get more keys and to throw away my health. Hey, look, it came back. We got the Stompy transformation, which means that we're big. Well, that's its only real practical effect, but look at all these things we're getting. Random items. Let's play another slot machine. Ooh, what a great way to get troll bombs. Wait, where is it? We could play one of these, but we gave up our red health. You can see we're getting uh, random trinket effects in these different rooms, thanks to 404. Last time we had a flatworm. No idea what we've got now. Don't care about those bombs. We have enough bombs. Oh man, you can't even see that we have 404 because of the color of the womb. I should be using this. Shoal is the name of the bad place, by the way. I couldn't remember it earlier, so I just said the bad place, because it would sound like a funny thing that Musical Con Man might say. But, you know, some at what point are you doing a performance, and at what point are you becoming a performance? It's kind of deep when you think about it. And that's another great insight that only I would think of. No one else has ever made a claim like that before. It's kind of as if it's kind of like the whole world is just a stage, and we're all just actors. Little horn tears, by the way, which we're getting very occasionally, are the only things that can kill these little stone buddies. I'd like to demonstrate, but I mean, I already demonstrated on the other two, so we're going to call that good enough. I don't like this room. But I killed them too fast to skip it. Alright, take these bad friends out. They're not even my real friends. Change our look? No. Maybe. No. I do like the side heads. You know what? I can actually work with this. We look like a a big beast of legend. Speaking of big, if we just could get rid of some of these eyes, it would be the Cyclops, but instead we're the Hexaclops. We have become the Hexaclops. I'm into it. Let's do this forever. The Hexaclops loves to play slots. 
That's my new character choice for the Hexaclops. My favorite character in the Binding of Isaac. Afterbirth Plus. Are we... Yeah, we're vibrating slightly. It's kind of interesting. I love how one makes you larger, just makes the pixels so visible. Oh, hey, a pill. Full disclosure, if we get a troll bomb, I make no guarantees that I will pay attention to it. Okay, that was a pill. But I was paying attention. But again, no guarantees. Money. The worst part about this... Hey, we got the dollar. So now, this save file never has to do that again. Give us 99 money. And the ability to not do that anymore. Okay, let's continue our ongoing mission, which is to play this key beggar, because it's exciting. And why not? Oh, we got the clothespin, or paperclip. That actually could be useful. Goodbye, 404. Let's fight against Mom's heart. Oh, it's gonna land right here. But wouldn't it be funny if there was a hole right under it? Ha! <laughs> Great joke. Got your mom's heart. Watch out, you don't fall in the hole. I can't see mom's face, but I bet she's laughing. I might want to not die. I don't know. Could feel... Well, that was a bad place to stand. Wow, I actually died. That's pretty funny. Alright. Uh, pro tips, if you don't want to die, play good. Bye.